She walks out of the shanty town apartment doors with rundown heels and a tattered skirt with patches on them. Today she prayed. She prayed for mercy, she prayed for grace, and she prayed that she would have a good day at work and make enough money to put food on the table for her children. She is my mother. My mom is one of my biggest inspirations. Um, she had enough courage to leave a marriage that was doing more damage than good. Um, she raised my sister and I by herself. Um, and even though she didn't receive that great of an education, my mom um, would put posters all over the house and she would teach my sister and I our ABCs and our sight words and our numbers and she would teach us how to read. Um, even though she couldn't read that well, she would do her best. And she constantly pushed us to go to school and get our education and become something great. She taught me how to love God. She taught me how to love people. She um, taught me what work ethic really looks like. And even though there were many nights she cried because she didn't know how she was going to get food on the table, she always made it somehow. She had wig coupons in one hand and had our hands in the other. And she worked hard and she strived hard to, to just make sure that we had everything we needed. And she did it no matter what. Even when, you know, um, my sister and I had things to do, I was really into poetry, my sister was really into sports. She always were, was there, like, cheering us on and, and encouraging us <coughs> to do our best in whatever we love to do. And so that's why she's one of my biggest inspirations. She's strong and she's one of my backbones. Like, she's a piece of my vertebrae. And I appreciate everything that she's ever done for me. Um, even when times were tough, she would always just tell us to continue to have faith and to never let anybody take our hope away and to continue to keep pressing. And she's the very reason that I'm in college to this day because I don't like school very much, never did. And my grades were not that great in middle school, but my mom stayed on me. She would stay with me late to make sure I did my work and I got my work done. She would make sure that my older sister checked over it. And, you know, she just did her best to take care of us and to be there for us and to, you know, teach us and lead us and guide us through life. And to this very day, I will still call on her when I when I need her or just when I need to hear some encouraging words. She's always very uplifting and very encouraging. So, thank you.